My Life as a Teenage Robot debuted on Nickelodeon on August 1, 2003. Four years after the Oh Yeah! cartoons pilot, My Neighbor was a Teenage Robot aired in 1999. The show would air on Nickelodeon in the United States until the end of Season 2 in 2005. The remaining episodes, aka Season 3, would air on Nicktoons from 2008 to 2009. Eurasia, in contrast, saw Season 3 a few years before American viewers in 2006 and 2007. So we haven't had any new episodes of Teenage Robot in roughly a decade, and the series hasn't been in production in over 12 years. That's quite a long time. Some of our younger fans weren't even born yet. So what would happen if we brought Jenny and the crew back in 2020? That's a question we're hoping to answer today. The first change would be in the animation style and the production process. Starting in the early 2010s with cartoons such as Gravity Falls, The Amazing World of Gumball, and Steven Universe, a style of animation known as Cal Art style became popular in Western animation. The style earned its name since so many of the decade's biggest showrunners and animators graduated from CalArts, also known as the California Institute of Art. The animation of this decade is recognizable by its simpler and fluid character designs. This style is particularly helpful for animators as it can be done digitally with relative ease, speeding up the animation process. Even in its time, Teenage Robot was recognized for its unique aesthetic and designs. Losing the art style of the original series would be a massive shame since so much of the charm was found in how nice and unique it looks. Hopefully a 2020 revival wouldn't change up the style too much. We've discussed this before, but it's possible that a revival could be in stylized 3D animation. This would be a negative change. 3D animation just doesn't have the same charm as 2D animation. The character designs would likely change as well to match the aesthetic of the late 2010s. It would still keep some of its original aesthetic charms as a homage to its inspirations while letting viewers know that the show isn't stuck in the 2000s. This would include updating the characters' outfits to match the current fashion trends. As for the tone of the series, there would likely be a more defined plot. The series could still be episodic, but there could be a larger plot simmering beneath the surface while Jenny is navigating adolescence and being a crime-fighting robot. I picture this being similar to how Star vs. the Forces of Evil was structured. As a result, characters could face consequences for their actions, promoting character development and seeing the cast evolve throughout the series. Conflict would be more clear, and the struggle between the characters and their adversaries, be it themselves, mean teenagers, or even literal adversaries, would be more rewarding for viewers. And come on, wouldn't it be awesome to see Jenny graduate high school in the series finale? Characters who are malicious but not major threats, such as Misty and the Crest Cousins, could get some development as well. Unfortunately, the actual series sets them up as one-dimensional characters with shallow goals in mind, which doesn't lend itself to good writing. If viewers knew why these characters are the way they are, they would be more interesting and thus more relatable to viewers. They could still be adversaries to Jenny, but could also play roles as reluctant allies or anti-heroes if the plot calls for it. And finally, one of the biggest trends of the decade is a fascination with the supernatural in Western animation. This is apparent in shows such as Gravity Falls and Over the Garden Wall, which are set in low fantasy settings, aka settings that take place in a mundane world with some fantasy elements thrown in for measure. Though a lot of the series' phenomenons are an accepted part of reality, wouldn't it be interesting if the writers built on this idea? It could be something that the public dismisses in favor of more scientific explanations. What if there's an episode where Tuck encounters something out of the ordinary and no one believes him when he talks about what he saw? The use of fantasy and supernatural elements could open up a new realm of possibilities. Plus, we have characters throughout the series that are shown to have some strange abilities. We know about the cancelled ghost sidekick which Jenny could have teamed up with in an earlier version of My Life as a Teenage Robot. While it was ultimately scrapped to keep the world of the show more grounded and scientific instead of concerning itself with the paranormal, anything could change. I think that the biggest problem that we have as fans is that we want things to be the same. I understand that change is scary. However, if my life as a teenage robot does eventually come back and you're not willing to accept the changes, you're being greedy. The times are a-changing. But hey, this is all fun speculation. Don't take anything we say to heart. Either way, 
We can all agree that the 2000s didn't treat my life as a teenage robot with respect and proper send-off it deserved. I've been your narrator, Andre. Thanks for watching. watching this video. If you enjoyed it, leave a rating. If you want to reach us, leave a comment. Or check out our other platforms. Links are in the description.